Hey there everybody, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and today I wanted to bring you a video on how I set up my Napier Sports 8200 tent. I recently did a video uh, that was a solo car camping video and everyone was asking, can you set up this tent by yourself? And I'm here to tell you as a solo female traveler, uh, hiker, backpacker, and camper, yes, you can set up this tent. If I can set it up by myself, then you can certainly set it up. Anyway, I'm going to show you how the car goes from this to this. The tent comes in this travel bag and you can see the size of it but what I also bring with me to help because I'm 5'6 is a step stool and I'll show you exactly how I use that. Also, this bag is all your poles. It comes with stakes. And this bag is the tie downs for the uh, rain fly. <clears throat> and these are straps that actually help cinch down the tent when you go to pack it away. The next step for me is to start taking all of the poles out of the bag and assembling them. There are three different types of poles. These smaller gray poles right here, they're gonna be for the top of your tent. These right here, if you notice, they have this little knob on the end. There's two pair of those, and that's for the rain fly. So if you're not gonna put the rain fly up, you don't need those two. And then these are four of the corner poles. So I'm gonna start assembling those. Okay, then I move the tent close to the car where it's underneath of the bottom of the bumper and then I'm gonna start pulling up the hatch part. I use my step stool for that step and I attach it to the bars that I have, the cross bars. And so therefore it's not going anywhere. And look, I only have just a little bit up on the hatch, but that's all you need. Once you've got this straight, then it's gonna stay up there. And so now I'm just gonna do the other side where I pull it up and over and do the same step. Once you get the hatch cover on and both of those clips are locked on the crossbars, you're going to reach for the bottom. And pull it around. 
and there's a clip right here and this clip is actually going to go up into the wheel well and it's going to help secure the tent onto your car. And there is a tightening latch right here. It doesn't need to be tightened, but you just need to make sure that this part goes underneath of your back bumper in between your tire. Just a note, I changed what the direction said to do because I don't have a lot of upper body strength as a woman of my age. I used to be much stronger. So I believe the direction said to put the bars in for the top first then put it over the hatch but what i found in doing it that way is it was too heavy for me to lift up and over the hatch so after setting this up several times i decided to try doing the hatch first then putting the bars on the top and that worked much better for me so that's what i'm going to do right now is put the bars in here are the gray bars that i'm going to use you're going to slide them through the purple or the blue and then you're gonna find this four hole top of the tent. You're gonna put one in one side. And then you're gonna find this bracket that's right here. And one side has, um, for a smaller uh, pole, which is gonna be this one, and the other end is for the bigger side poles. So just stick that right in. Once the hatch is up and the roof has been assembled, then I've put two side poles over here and two side poles over there, and I'm gonna start putting on the sides. When you get the rain fly out to put up over the tent, it's a little bit difficult trying to figure it out until you find where it says vehicle side and you're gonna move that around to the side it needs to go on. All right guys, so this part of the tent, the main body is very easy to get up by yourself. When I soloed, I didn't even use the rain fly. The second time I took it out, I had help putting on the rain fly. So it's going to be interesting trying to get it up. Um, I'm going to try to use this pole to see if it will help, but I'm thinking of attaching it to the corner and then using the pole to lift it up and over. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. Don't laugh at me.
All right, so you can put the fly up and extend it out this way or extend it out this way. But I just rolled that up and I'm gonna put poles on the ends to make like a little awning. So these last two poles that we have are right here. And you put two of these guy lines um, and then you put this little piece on top. And this little piece is really important because this is what keeps it from blowing off when the wind blows. So basically they come separate, these little pieces. And you just, I don't think I can do it with one hand, but you just put it right over the top. All right, that's what it looks like all zipped up with the rain fly on and the canopy out with a mattress down on the floor. And I don't have a mattress up there yet, but yeah, tons of space and you can decorate it any way you want. All right, all set up. You can see how much space there is. You can sleep inside your car you can sleep in here i can't touch the ceiling i mean you can do so much move all your gear out of your car put it in here if that's what you want it's going to stay dry and yeah so this company um, makes this tent the 8200 model but they also make a 8400 model which is this size but it also has a vestibule on it so if you're looking for something a little bit bigger they make truck tents so tr tents that fit in the back bed of your truck they look really cool and my personal favorite thing that I've been wanting to get into is rooftop tinting they actually sell a tent that goes up on the roof of your car or SUV and that looks phenomenal Anyway, I'll drop the link down below. I'm sweating. I'm about to run and jump in the Atlantic Ocean, the Chesapeake Bay behind me because it's like 95 degrees today and it is pretty warm in this tent. Anyway, if you have any questions about Napier Outdoors or this particular tent, drop them in the comments below and I am happy to help you guys out and answer the questions if I can. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with some different ways that you can decorate this tent and I'll see you on the next video.